Hi, yeah, Dave here from RC Pilots. Thanks for checking out this video about the Durafly EF Extra. Fantastic plane. Straight away you can see great turn of speed, massive climb up into the sky, very, very fast, much faster than anything else I've ever seen. And this is just on a 3S2200 battery. As I fly over beside the road there, the plane is actually flying faster than the traffic, which is going around 90 kilometers an hour, 90 to 100 kilometers an hour. No problem. This is, for an hour like me, this is a scary plane to fly. It moves very fast, diving towards the ground, aiming between the hedges. Things happen fast. I have the rate dialed way down to about 50%, and still things happen quite fast. But a brilliant buzz. Absolutely fab. She rolls endlessly, no problem, and that's on slow rates. Uh, very, very responsive, and of course, there's a fantastic buzzing sound as it flies past. It flies very fast, and it also crashes very fast. Things get out of, out of hand for me very quickly, just like here. She started rocking backwards, forwards, and I started very quickly losing sense of, of what was really happening. Nose dive to the ground, and on replay, you can see I just about scraped back up from having an absolute disaster. Lucky there, but it crashed plenty of other times, which is going to be a bit of a problem with this plane. You're likely to crash a lot, and I might be needing replacements, uh, and it's something to, to bear in mind. Big crash there, smashed into the ground, smashed the fuselage into pieces. Managed to patch things up. I had some nylon hinges with me, stuck them onto the wings, some super glue, and took off again. And to my surprise, it was back up. And within 10, 20 seconds, I was forgetting how easily I crashed it the last time. It really does give a great buzz, but it is not for the faint-hearted. And it just seems to be one of those planes that you sort of need to grab the controls. And um, you need to be firm and gentle with the sticks. You decide how much you want to bank the plane, how fast you want to fly the plane, and it will do it. But it is entirely unforgiving in my hands. But it is addictive fun. This plane is the fastest plane I've had so far. As I said, this is just the 3S2200. Uh, the next flight that will come up in a short while is with the 4S. Just ran out of battery, it's gliding in. Nice, safe landing. Up again, off again. You just want to keep putting the plane up there in the air. But this time, something happened and I went into tailspin way too easily. Exactly sure what happened, but it caused catastrophic damage to the structure of the plane and this is the time I need to replace the fuselage. Fairly easy swap out and off we go again. Mm, this guy. Oh, it's just so crisp and responsive. I have no motivation in recommending this plane. I don't get anything about people buying this plane. I'm just reviewing it as an option for someone to consider. Anyone to consider except the beginner. This is not a beginner's plane. This is not even your second plane. I think this needs to be your third or fourth plane. Here I was just flying too slowly again. Wing stalled. Last lift. I tried to power out of it. It was just a bit too low to get away with it. So I chewed through another prop. I've gone through four or five so far. I have fuse light. Damaged ailerons. Uh, I need to take this one back and uh, glue it back together again. But I think it'll be okay to fly the next day. Would I recommend this plane? Absolutely. If you got the stones to fly it aggressively, uh, knowing it could snap back at you at any minute. But it's a really fun plane. I've been delighted to be able to fly it. I hope you found this interesting. And please let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you.